The next question is drag words in a sentence. Here are words given on top of the question and students have to drag them on the correct place in the sentence. Just click on it and configure your question. Add your question here. In this case, they have to drag the words in the box to complete the sentence from the video. I'm going to add my text here, like this. Now, the words that students have to drag, you have to indicate with two, these brackets. In that case, injured will, will come on top of the question and students can choose from the words injured, ill, looks after, injuries and well. And they can drag and drop this in the right blank space. When you add this bracket, this will show blank for your students and they will see that they have to fill out the words. They have to drag and drop the words on these in these empty spaces. If you want to make it harder for your students, you can also add distractor. So these are extra words you are going to show your students and they can also choose those words to drag and drop in the sentence. Of course, that would be a mistake, but it makes it a little bit harder for your students and they have to think a little bit better. If you just have these words, it looks after as well, injuries and injured, then they know it's correct and then they don't have extra words to choose from. Here they do. So let's see what we're going to add. Let's say healthy and strong. And strong. Of course, you have the rationale, so an explanation, a hint, you can add audio and image, you can change numbering, and there are the scoring options, just click on it, and it's also a score multiplier. And this means that for every blank space students have to fill with a, a word from the top, they get one point. In this case, I think I have five words, so this question will be on five points. Let's go to the preview to take a look at how this looks like for my students. So here are the blank spaces and you form them by using those brackets and all the words between those brackets come on top of the question right here and also the extra words um, are, are here as well. You can see I used capital letters. In this case, this is maybe not the way to go because um, there are no sentences, um, words that I have to put in front of a sentence. So let's see how this goes. Like this. Then click on show answers so you can see how it's automatically created for your students. If you don't want to uh, show your students the answers yet, you can disable this option and then you can give feedback and the correction later on. So here you can see what's right and what is wrong and you all and students also get the correction afterwards.